Hello, this is Angry Theories here, and before I start this video, I just wanted to point out that I finally have a YouTube avatar. Honestly, I think it's great, and I'm really thankful for it. The creator of this avatar is known as This Dark Light on DeviantArt, or as some fans will know him, as the creator of Hukos on YouTube, or as Zelda fans will know him, as the creator of Legend of Zelda Unknown Origins. And I have to say, I am really thankful for this. Again, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but I am really, really thankful for this. That's all I want to say. The Triforce of Power, one of the three pieces of the Triforce. This piece represents the goddess Din and has been the power source of the Thief King Ganondorf for several eras in the Zelda timeline. The Triforce of Power grants its user unimaginable strength, the ability to use magic, transformation, and immortality. However, the Triforce of Power possesses an ability that has been hidden in plain sight within the Zelda series. What is this mysterious power? The Power of Resurrection. In The Legend of Zelda, it's well known that Ganon or Ganondorf has died several times in each era of the three timelines. Sometimes he's either resurrected by one of his minions, reincarnates, or he just stays dead. However, there were two occasions where none of these scenarios happened. The first case took place at the climax of the final battle against Ganondorf in Ocarina of Time. During the final battle, Link had weakened the now transformed Ganondorf enough for Zelda to step in and use her powers to inca incapacitate the beast. Following suit, Link delivered a skull-piercing final blow with the Master Sword that should have killed Ganon. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't this normally kill a person? And as we all know, Ganon and Ganondorf has been killed by the Master Sword several times. Heck, even someone as powerful as Demise was killed by the Master Sword. So why is it that Ganondorf was able to survive in Ocarina of Time? Well, that's where the second occasion comes in. The second time takes place before the events of Twilight Princess. In it, Ganondorf had been captured for his crimes against the Kingdom of Hyrule, and was sentenced to death. The sages carried out his execution, stabbing the Thief King in the heart with their blade. However, suddenly Ganondorf had gained the power of the Triforce of Power, and was able to kill the Sage of Water before being banished to the Twilight Realm. Again, Ganondorf had been dealt a fatal blow that would have killed anybody else, yet he survived. Why? While the sages state it was because of a divine prank by the gods, I believe it was actually the Triforce of Power that had resurrected him. In the Hyrule Historia on page 113, it is stated that while Ganondorf was able to use magic due to still being the bearer of the Triforce of Power, he could not consolidate the power of the Triforce within himself. Meaning, he couldn't use its full power like he does later on. Odd how the Triforce only activates when he dies, right? And before skeptical people in the comment section say it, yes, I know Ganon had the Triforce of Power in the original Legend of Zelda, but it stated Link used the Triforce of Wisdom to defeat Ganon, so it's possible he could have used it to take Ganon's Triforce piece before it resurrected him. What's even more interesting is something I found on page 91 of the Hyrule Historia. It stated, Ganon, having lost the battle, is sealed away along with the Triforce of Power, though he regained human form. Note how it points out how he regained human form. Why is this important? Because the Hyrule Historia suggests that his Ganon form was supposed to be permanent. On page 92, it stated that Ganondorf had transformed into Ganon after he had taken the Triforce of Wisdom and Courage. 
and ever since then, he has only ever appeared as Ganon, even when he's resurrected, showing or suggesting that Ganon could never turn back into Ganondorf. Yet Ocarina of Time Ganon was able to turn back. Why? Because he died while having the Triforce of Power. Now, the reason I think this has to do with the Seven Sages plan in Ocarina of Time. It's never stated why the Sages needed to seal Ganondorf in the first place. At first glance, we could assume it's just because Ganondorf was too powerful. But when we look at games like The Wind Waker, that can't be the case. Since in that game, Ganondorf was more powerful than he ever was in Ocarina of Time. Yet sealing him wasn't the plan after the Great Flood of Hyrule failed to contain him. The King of Red Lions banked on Link and the Master Sword to finish him off. What's more is the fact that this is the same case for Twilight Princess Ganondorf and he was able to be killed while wielding the power of the Triforce of Power. So, I propose that the Sages only sealed Ocarina of Time Ganondorf because they couldn't kill him. Which brings me into my final part of my theory. As I mentioned, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess Ganondorf could be slain with the Master Sword. Yet the case isn't the same for Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Why does such a problem exist in the first place? Simple, because Wind Waker Ganondorf had already been killed when he was Ganon, and Twilight Princess Ganondorf had been killed when he was executed by the Sages. Meaning that the Triforce of Power gives Ganondorf, or its wielder in general, an extra life. This would explain why Ganondorf was able to survive an otherwise fatal blow twice, and why the sages needed to seal him in the first place. Ganondorf's overwhelming power, magic, and longevity normally wouldn't have mattered as showcased in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. But if Ganondorf had an extra life, that would be a complete game changer as Ganondorf most likely would have killed his foe after his first death. Thus, the only option was to seal him in the Sacred Realm. This does make me wonder if bearers of the other two Triforce pieces can do the same thing. Possibly, but I digress. Well, that's the end of my theory, and if you enjoyed it, please comment rate and subscribe for more thank you